All right, so here's an update on the project overall. We've got a secondary hole with some pylons. We've got a saucer with a neck. So missing completely are the engines, which uh, need to be custom made. There's a few details such as the deflector antennas at the front and back, and then the uh, shuttle bay at the front. Overall, things are going well. I've been mostly concentrating on the secondary hull last night, but I started doing some work on the saucer here, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So the camera's probably going to pick up a lot of scratches in the surface here. And basically, before I did some recent adding, I had started with uh, 60 grit sandpaper, worked my way up to 220, maybe that's 240. And then uh, went to 400 for a little while. I've got some 6 and 800 grit, but there's no point in going to that quite yet because I still got a ways to go on the body overall. So these pylons, these are, have got a really good fit. The port side is rock solid tight. The starboard side has a little bit of wiggle in it. However, the wiggle is canceled simply by pulling the pylon full forward which is where it should be straight with the other one so that's not too bad of a problem the overall fit around the pylon itself is pretty spot on so I'm not worried about that uh, last time you saw this the neck was in here with some plastic and I had been filling up the uh, basically around there to start getting the shape a little better so I'm going to need another round with that. You can see this corner here is a little rounded off and this one up here as well. Well, I guess all four of the corners are really. But I do have to uh, do another round of filling in there before it's really good to go. And over on the bottom here what I noticed was that my uh, line was just not quite as swooping as this one is. It kind of flattened out. So I started filling in the bottom there. So I'm going to basically take this shape and fill it up to the side lines and round it off there. I had been worried about getting uh, this bit here circular, and it turns out over here it's not really circular at all. It is an ovoid. So uh, I'm happy about that because this will make things a lot easier, but I do got some rounding out to do around the sides there. So this has definitely made some really phenomenal progress from where it's been sitting for the last 8 or 10 months or so. And uh, let me pause and I'll switch up to another bit. So in addition to adding to the bottom here, you can probably definitely see there's some indentations in the body overall. So this still has a little ways to go for all the finishing and the final step for this I may pick up some Bondo and uh, do what's called skinning and that would be taking this surface and basically hiding it under just a real thin layer of Bondo to uh, smooth all that out. So there's definitely a little ways to go and uh, in another few more hours of work with this basically I'll be able to ready to start priming it and sanding down from there to get the really best surface that I can. The 400 grit sandpaper really brings it down nicely, but I still got a ways to go. So over here on the saucer, uh, basically when I very first cut this, I started on this end, and I was getting some kickback on the buzz saw, table saw, so I switched over to this end and I immediately made two really bad cuts into the surface. So I just decided to uh, patch those up finally. And uh, after failing at this end, I went back to this, which was dead on center, and I finished that off after all. But the cut was far too long, so I had to thin that down. And what I also took the opportunity to do was to line up the neck and the pylon there with this here. So now this is finally set exactly at the depth it needs to be. And... Uh, I think it's probably safe to pull this out, so uh, let me put this on a tripod. So I had this tape on here to hold the neck just off to the side so it would uh, stand a little uh, more perpendicular. So let's just slice all this. There we go. So 
So I'm still going to have to do a lot of work on this up here. Well, maybe not a lot, but there is some ways to go. And basically, what I will still need to do here is while I've flattened out the disc, I now have to fill out the neck up until the disc. So, uh, uh this shouldn't be trapped in. Let's slide that out. Pull that out. I'll use a different tool to trim this a little better later. So I'm almost ready to pull this protective paper off. I really don't want to yet because it's a really beautiful piece of acrylic. But I will need to at some point. And I definitely went over more than I needed to up here. Basically the important thing here was to set this point. Let me cut this out because I can see it here really well. Okay, so like I was just saying, the point here was to simply set the far insert so that this wouldn't go in further than it needs to. And pretty much that locks on right there pretty well. Once I actually have the dome in here, this part of the neck is going to pretty much lock itself straight into place and there won't be any uh, loose falling around like is showing there. I also cut this top to be pretty much smooth with this, so hopefully there won't be too much filling there. But that locks in right on there. Then over on the bottom, I do have a little more filling to do. But more importantly, you can see I've got to add to the neck here. So I'll put the saran wrap around the saucer now, and then I'll start bulking up the neck for the next stage, and then pull that back out and everything will be good. So uh, let me give this a real quick pause again.